Hello and welcome to Seven RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're back in Return to Moria and we're finally getting to my best part, my favorite part, and literally straight away we're about to be attacked. That's a good start. But we're gonna build today. We're gonna build. We're gonna build as much as we can after we kill off this bloody wave, which I'm hoping. I built a little wall up here because this is the second time I've been like raided. We're gonna close the door so they can't get inside. Sneaky, sneaky. We are using a two-handed fire sword now. Which is actually pretty damn tasty. But we're going to build up this entire base once this... Can, are they going to get... Are they getting through? The siege is... Really? That was it. Okay, good times. They knew I was building today. They didn't want to waste my time. Can we break these stuff down? No, we can't. I wonder if we can craft these at some point. But what we're going to be doing... We grabbed a load of resources. And I did do a little bit of testing. Only for the crafting benches. Because I want to have this area here. Up by this forge. The crafting area. Now we can't build in this square here. But we can build in these side areas. So I'm going to build this area into the crafting area. Then we're going to build some things in the corners. I have some ideas. But we're going to go through step by step. And we're going to play it by ear. So like I always do in every build that I do. In every survival game that I play. I go in with an idea of something that I want to do and then build it from there. So I don't know why it's like holding the sprint down. So we're going to start off with this corner over here. Now we're going to build. Oh God, there's things keep talking in the background. We're going to be building in granite at least for the lower level. So we're going to actually have this starting as close as we can to this wall here. And we're going to go across. Is that going to get... Is that, are you going to let me go down? You are going to let me go down. And are you going to go into the pillar? You are indeed. Okay. So we have the first set of walls there. Now I'm going to build a door. Which is going to be facing the other way. And we're going to have it kind of in the center of these two pillars. I want it to be quite centered in here. Because this is just going to be one of our buildings. I do have an idea of what this building is going to be over here. We're probably going to have this as the living area. Because I do build for RP. I don't just build for, um, like, aesthetic reasons. We are going to have the door. I do, like, kind of... Well, I guess it is aesthetic if I am actually building uh, to RP. Uh, you're not going to fit in there, are you? You're going to be in... Oh, we might be able to get you in there. We don't have that much granite, to be fair. I'm going to build it up to this pillar. So it fits in the pillar, so it's not going to be... I like the way that it has it. Some people don't like that it's centered like that. But if we put it in there like that, it's going to kind of give it a look as we're going around. This is going to be like the living quarters where we do the cooking and stuff. And it kind of... I, I don't know. I kind of like the way this works in here. Now, we wanted to use the statues to be like part of each of the rooms so i will be building up but we're not going to build every like single wall as the gilded one because i don't want it to be um we probably put this simple trimmed wall up on the next floor can you can you slot up there or not you can we are going to turn you around because you are going to be the top of the building we want it to be in place there we go we want you to be across there. I'm going to go across. And we're going to build it into it. Even if it's overlapping a little bit. Just a little bit though. Not too bad. And we're going to go across. And we can have multiple floors using this in here. We do need to put another wall in there. Because there is a bit of space. And this is the first time I'm really using the building in this game. In this system right now. We do need a simple molded wall. We are going to turn you around that way. And we are going to slot you in there. So you're not going to have any spaces. And we can kind of use these giant pillars. In the area to make it look a little bit nicer. There's a little bit sticking out there. I might have to fix that in a little bit. And we might have to swap some of these pieces. Uh, I'm not sure why. That's in there like that. The simple molded wall. Is the same as the trimmed wall. Or not. Oh no, because that goes up to the top. Hmm. You see how it's the other way around, squared off. But I don't like that this door doesn't have the same thing across of it. 
which can be slightly which might be slightly aggravating we are going to put some in here at least maybe we can stick something across um can we fit you in there can you go in there across the, in the doorway like that and we can have you kind of come out that's not in the right place what are you doing is it some there we go we can pick you up we want you to be out a little bit the same as that and then we can add a granite floor over here to kind of have it in between and we can have something hanging off of there we might need to put the column base here instead let's actually break down these real quick so we don't waste anything because we don't have a massive amount can you I don't know how that's going to look it looks good to me it looks okay to me we are going to have right where's the furnishings we got oh we got crystal lamps now but we haven't got any of the stuff that we have back at base so we will start furnishing this stuff later on with the furnishings because there's a lot of stuff here that will be able to make things look really good inside we've got rugs etc and we've got some banners so like we'll be able to stick we've got the numerian cloth loads of it at the base so we can like stick in the doorways just have things sticking off here what i might do actually while we're here is we'll put the column crown see if that goes into there like that because it only takes one granite we have gone through a significant amount of granite already let's go down and do that and then we can go and put the base you can just put the grand column in there and then you can have it kind of be an entryway and have it look a little bit better than what it has because you can't get the doors over the tops so, and i i really don't like when you can't do something like that we might put a little bit of a roof up there um once we get on the top so i'm just going to build the walls for the moment why is that wall slightly higher along the edge up there that's going to annoy the crap out of me so we're going to have to fix that i'm a bit like i'm a bit ocd when it comes to it you'll notice that if you if you've watched any of my um build videos in any of the games i've played before that's slightly lower than it should be or is that that's not the same one is it no it's not the same one let's try this one is it this one i can hit yeah that, that's all squared off so we're gonna have the entrance in this way we will put some other things in here like uh, i'm just getting the wall set up for now so i might actually start building out of the standard stone for a minute because over in this corner we wanted to do this is going to be like the building and living area so i'm going to come in here and we're going to do the second layer out of wood now i don't have a lot of ubersome wood a lot of ubersome wood is really hard to get hold of so what we're actually going to do is do we what's the stone floors look like on this level can we just have it kind of look a little less I'm not sure if that's going to be better or if we go into the granite is the granite floor hmm because it does take a lot of granite to build this oh that, that's kind of cool how it does that underneath so if we put the stone floor and we put it across like this it's not going to go in that corner though and then we break down this top bit Oh, it only does it on some of them when it goes through the floor. Okay, it's not going to work every single time. Can I not break you? Now you're just going to be there forever. Mm -mm -mm. So what I'll do here, actually, because it's... Uh... How big are these granite columns? We'll put that on because it's going to look better on the inside there like that. We might have to do it on most of these pieces. But I'm going to start building out the floor in here now. So if we start actually just building out into the floor here. So we can have a second layer. Are you going to be able to attach there really nicely or are you going to be... 
slightly off center. So we're just going to have like standard wood for now because we haven't got enough of the other somewhere to do this. Why is that red? That's not... We need to go in a little bit more. And we probably will need to put up some of the... Uh, say for instance, do we have... Where is it? Because you need to... Uh, the building kind of needs wooden cross beams and stuff like that, etc. But we have to build it across... Can we build it... The right... No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's just railings and stuff. We need, they're walls. Floors. Stairs. Columns. A narrow ceiling column. Because we may need to actually... Right, there's a small beam, but that's scaffolding to add some structure. So if we actually just, like, build this across... You see how it's starting to get a little bit... Scaffolding, scaffolding, scaffolding. Do we have something that's not a tall single one? That's going to be too tall. And have it just go across a little bit like that. So it can add some space in there. And add sort of like give it something. We need to actually get our torch out. I don't know why it's not on my back. So we can actually see everything properly. And then we can just get more of these wooden floors out. I will upgrade it eventually. That's not correct. These guys talk too much. Can you... Oh, we need to go across a little bit there. We need to get you to go inside of that one, sir. It's not snapping. That's going to be annoying. We should have snapped it from the other wall. Let's quickly delete all that out. And we'll do it from the wall out and see how close we get to... Because it will be definitely more squared off if we have it set up in there. In the wrong place. Come on, pick up all the wood. Right. Let's try this again. Wood floor in the corner. Can you fit nicely in the corner there for me? You can, and we're going to go and build out from there. It's not going to fit properly. So we probably need to do it from there. We'll cut across. Come on. Come on. Snap for me. There we go. Uh, why is it not going to... Okay. It's green there still. Okay, sweet. Then we'll come out a little bit more. So these guys, we need to go in a little bit. There we go. And at least we can get this bit going inside and have it completely covered off like that. We can have this be one of the areas and we can have a little staircase going up. Let's have a look. Do we want wooden staircase? We're going to use small stairs for the moment. Oh, we're going to need to have a look at some of the sizes of this because the sizes are a little bit off. We'll do uh, tall rough stairs. Can you go into the floor? You cannot. Okay. Can we do that? Rough stairs. That's not tall rough stairs, man. We've got some polished stairs here. Polished wooden stairs. But that's going to use up some wood. That's not going to work on that kind of level, is it? Um, can we do like a... Let's try and do this. Let's try and do it this way. And we can try and build and get the small segment there. Can you fit in that bit or not? You're going to be slightly off. But at least we'll be able to get up here for now. Who's sneaking about? I'm not sneaking about. 
And this gives us a basic gist of it. We will put some walls in here because this frontal area is going to be the entrance way that we're going to have. So let's try and get... We haven't got any coal here with us, so we need to do that at some point. Let's get the torch out so we can see everything properly. Kind of sucks we're in the middle of the night. I'm going to put some polished walls in here. Where's the polished walls? In the wrong thing. Granite. Now we're just going to do these as standard walls. Let's try and get this over as close to this as possible. And we're going to do it kind of in the middle of these lines. I'm going to try and get it so it's directly in the middle over here. And then we're going to have to put another one. We'll put a doorway. And we'll have it over that way. And then we can actually just pull out another standard wall. Because we don't need these gilded inside. And then we have this front entrance room, which is going to be the entryway to our home. Because this is where we're going to be doing our home, home and stuff like that. And we're going to be building some more stuff inside of this area. But I want to try and get the roof sorted. Let's go to wood and stone and build... Uh, where is it? A scaffolding. Tool platform. Narrow tool platform. Let's try and get this built in so we can get up on the roof and start building the roof itself and we'll put in some stairs where's the stairs at tall stairs tall rough stairs boop, boop. let's put that there for a minute so we can at least get up the top and we'll be able to build from the edge we're starving do i have any food on me i don't have any food on me i will be right back once i grab the food right so we're back and we're going to be starting to fill in the roof now so I'm going to start trying to get this in to fit in with the uh, pillars over here. I'm going to try and get it in. I don't know if we can get it. Mm. Let's try. Because we have to try and get it around this corner. I'm using the uh, tall roof piece. So we're going to try and get it to go across. We do need to get up on the roof somehow at some point. So we have this going over the edge. Now, I'm going to try and get up here real quick. So we can at least jump across and see if the roof is fitting in nicely. It is at the moment break that we'll pick that up we'll break that at a moment because we can't use it right now uh let's get the tall roof back out again it's kind of let's go down there we go i should use that mouse thing more we do need to go yeah that makes it a lot easier to do it that way let's get it to go across so it is sticking into the roof at least over there we will try and get it to go in here. That's a bit... It looks like it's... There we go. Let's try that one. Yep, that's going to work. We'll go across again. Are you going to let us go in there or not? You are indeed. So we can have the roof going all the way around. Now I'm going to try and get this piece in here. Is that the same height? That's too high. I think that's the same height. And we're using the pillar to keep it as a corner piece. I don't know why we're calling out right now. And then we're going to get it to turn around. I'm going to keep going around. Let's try and get this up. So what we're going to do by the end of this video, we'll have this built. Right, we're going to have to go in here. Are you going to let us go in there or are you going to just piss about? There we go. That should be on the same level. It is indeed. And what we're going to do is I'm going to build this first building and then I'm going to go through and build everything that I want to build in this area. I don't think we're going to do it in the full video because it's going to take a hell of a long time. I uh, Personally, it's, I think it's going to take a long time. We're going to use stone roofs because... Right now, we haven't got enough of that granite. Can I put you on there? I can, just to have this covered out. 
and put you into the wall over there. <laughs> it's going to stick out a little bit on the top there. Like, if you guys have any uh, ideas on how uh, the building, to make the building easier and better, if there's any tips and tricks you guys have, let me know down below. I will try and figure out a lot of this myself. I can't stand on that one there. That's going to break through. So let's try and get this last bit over here. Get this sorted. It is going to stick on the... There is structural integrity that can be a problem on this one. Now let's try and go all the way across. Because in this game there is st structural integrity. You see the colours that come up here? There's green. And then it's green. And sometimes it will pop up as orange. And if you step on the orange it's okay for a little while like that. But it doesn't always survive. Like if I stand on it it will probably break. Let's go across a little bit that one's starting to be a bit orange and i'm gonna have to stand on some no i'm not i'm gonna go a little i'm gonna just use the mouse wheel to pop it out that's probably gonna break yeah it is that's red so we do need to get some beams underneath here to make that roof more solid on the edge there we are going to have to put a wall in there so let's try and build this across and just keep going as far as we can without building these beams across it. When they're not colored the green, they're safe enough. Orange, they're going to fall if you do too much time on it. Red is just going to drop completely as soon as you place it down. It's not good for anyone when you do that. It's still going green at least here. That one's going to be red, red. We've got some orange along here. So we can actually stick those in there. Are you going to be orange now or are you still going to be red? So we can't... Oh, we can get that... We'll stick that there and then it will no longer be... There we go. Sweet. We covered all the way across except for this bit over here. We're going to try and... Let's try and stick that in... And then it will be... That's going to break. We're going to have a little bit of gap in the back there. But we will put some beams in. To make it look a lot nicer. There is a way we can just jump onto this roof. So maybe we can put a staircase here. And have this as a little area. Like just kind of add stuff to it as I go along. To be perfectly honest. Uh, we can put... We want stone. We want a stone staircase. Let's see. That's too big. Stout stairs. Are you going to let us go there? You are. But it's, gonna, it's red right now. So let's try and do it this way. But the thing is, it's not going to have stairs that fit properly. So we're going to have to kind of... We'll try and fit that there. Let's break this and see if that other one breaks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Of course it does. Why would it not... Uh, narrow stone stairs, short stone stairs, tall stone stairs. I mean, the stairs... It, you, mm, 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 Let's build... Let's try and build... That's narrow. We don't want that one. Stout stairs, short stairs. If I place that there, and then we put a granite floor here, is this going to work? And then we can kind of maybe place a set of stairs inside of it. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. No, it's not going to work there. Why are you not going to work there, sir? I'll try and place another floor just a little bit lower there and see if that works. Because it is green, so it might be able to hold it up at least for now. Back to the stout stairs. Or just not do it we just pick up something else completely i do want to build with them at some point why are you not working there sir why don't you want to work for me so i'm going to put you there just because and then what i'm going to do just to be a bit weird we're going to actually oh, but 
it's gonna be can I go down a little bit I can't go down a little bit it won't let me go down so we're gonna have to actually just place that there like that and have a staircase going down it kind of looks a bit dodgy because it's just gonna be a lip there but we can put like a brazier in the corner or something and make it look a lot nicer and what I'm gonna do actually right now we've got some granite railings we can stick these granite railings along the entirety of the roof. So this can be just like a, a uh, an area just to have a look down on. Something scenic. Maybe I'll think about some... Uh, is that sticking out on that side? I don't know. I can't really see. We'll see when we get to the outside and we'll see what it actually looks like in the end. Can you uh, go down in there, sir, or not? You're just going to be sticking on the edge there. But we can use this for something. We can use this for area for something. We're going to get a small granite railing. We're going to stick that in there. So at least it's covering it. And we are actually going to have to go down the stairs. <laughs> to see the rest of the build. So far. I'm going to stick some windows in there in a minute. <laughs> so the wall's coming over quite nice. It's got a little bit of a hangover. Which is nice. With the little wooden beams and stuff. We do need to actually uh, change some of these around. Uh, I don't want to break the wall completely. So we're going to use this one. Is that going to be the same as that bottom one? It is indeed. Let's try and break the wall down. Mm. Is it going to break some stuff? Is anything going to fall from up the top? No, it's not. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. I was worried that it was going to start messing with the structural integrity. So we're going to put a crowned double wall in here. The double window, should I say, sorry. And that will cover everything. It's not going to be sticking out or anything, but there will be windows at least in part of the build. We'll put some windows here as well. So I'm going to break this wall. And we'll break this wall here. I'm going to pick up that granite because I don't want to be wasting granite. And we'll put that win that didn't even fit at all where it was supposed to fit. Right, let's get out of that. Pick up the granite we dropped on the floor. And then put another window in here. So it fits in nicely. And we'll pick up the granite we dropped. And it gives it a little bit more. We might have to build something along the walls, but I really like the way it turned out. I might put something on top of that there to have it reach up to the top maybe we'll have a little bit of roof that goes a little bit longer let's see if we can actually get that in there where's the roof pieces we need to go to stone because i haven't got any other ones right now so we've got the tall roof okay let's try and get this to fit in here we're gonna go down and have it fit in the center of there we need to go back a little bit or do we just place it in there and is it gonna go straight up it is, but it's not centered. Let's go to the tall roof again. Turn it around. Why are you going to be all weird there, sir? Let's just have it... Maybe if it's stepped back a little bit, it's still going to be okay. No, because it's literally stuck in the thing up there. I can't get a good enough angle, to be honest. That's in the center. try there that is now in the center but it's not i don't know i don't know if i like that we'll figure something out with that later on but this is sort of how it's gonna be we are going to actually break this bit down real quick and we'll put a double window in there into the granite into the double window uh we need to do no because it's not going to be the same why is it not got oh, there's a crowned window that is the same up there. Okay, sweet. Because I want it to be all the way along. I've got a problem. I have a real big problem when it comes to uh, making everything look like it's supposed to be there. But we do have the thing at the top. We can turn into an area. And we have this whole area down here. And then we're going to have the crafting area. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to furnish this out. And as we go through the game, I will build more sections. Over here, I want to build an armory. So I'm going to go and quickly furnish this bad boy out, make it look good, get all the crafting stations over and place it, and we'll be right back, and I'll give you a run-through of what I ended up doing. Right, so I did, I did a lot of work. I did a lot of stuff. 
I didn't end up building a lot of the rest of the base because it was taking a long time. And I think we should do it in segments as we're going along. So we might need to like change it up and build it as we're going along. But I think I'm going to stick in this area. Now we have this wall and this door here as we started out. Uh, and then as we look downstairs, we have got our house here. Our one corner house over here, which is going to have something up the top. I'm not quite sure what yet. Maybe you can give me some ideas of what we can do up here. I know you guys are all really big builders, especially in this game. Uh, on the left hand side down here, I've just because I haven't built this uh, the storage area, the warehouse yet. I've just got chests and a load of, of the pallets that are sticking around with all the ingots. And I have enough space to walk in between them if they're too stacked up. Uh, this one was already there. Like that chest was already existing, so I just left it there. And we have our wooden stone with our ingots and ore on this side. Uh, we do have the center is a completely crafting area. I've got the map point here, the Great Forge. We've got our tiled hearth. Hearth, sorry, not hearth. Someone's going to get upset if I say hearth again. Uh, we have furnaces, and I kind of wanted to keep it in a symmetrical way because I, I can't deal with non-symmetry sometimes. Uh, even though over here we do have an asymmetrical house, it, it really hurt me to build that. But I couldn't... Or it wasn't that I couldn't. It's that I wasn't wanting to go all the way across the edges of the stairs. Although I might still do that if we need more space later on. We have built our craft, uh, our farm plots down here. We've got a couple of like the ink grinder and we have uh, several of the uh, other crafting stations that are just dotted around the edge of the stairs until we build our crafting area, which might I might do up the top up there, actually. I might do our crafting area up top. Uh, we do have a craft, couple of crafting tables outside the house. Now, on uh, the other side over there, this is where I want to build our vault. The vault with all the gold, all the silver, like the, the shiny stuff. Now, it doesn't have to be all the different metal ingots. I'm just going to do treasure piles and stuff like that. But for right now, I had to build something because I kept getting raided. Um, I'm tired right now and obviously uh, got a lot of stuff going on with the uh, food and stuff like that on here. <coughs> Excuse me. But we do have this house built. Now, this first area I want is an entryway. Now, I do really love this one. Like, I love the flag. This is the uh, the flag for this one is actually the Black Mountain flag. I really love the look of that because I like the black and silver. It's really nice. I wish there was a purple one, which they do have the purple raven banner and the raven flag. But the purple doesn't look nice enough, obviously, because the channel color and the theme is purple. But I might change it to that later on. Maybe there's a one that comes later on that's a little bit better. But I wanted to incorporate this statue within the entryway. Now, I might have a couple of pews put here. For example, if I just go into furnishings, go to, I don't know, let's go to bench. And we can put a couple of benches in the entryway over here. Like so. So it can kind of be like a sitting area. Uh, maybe with something we put on the walls. Let me know down below in the comments if there's something that you think would be look cool in this area. I'd love to hear your ideas. And then we have our main home area. Now at the front here we have all of the cooking stuff. So we just have all the cooking stuff here. I just take a brazier here and we do have a couple of things on the wall. Uh, there's nothing too fancy right now. But on this side we have our own personal vault on the first floor over here. We've got a couple of weapons. We put some ornate chests down. We've got our armor pieces that we're going to be able to, as we're going along, when we upgrade to the next part, which we will do in a minute, uh, sneak peek spoiler, we will put our armor as we go up in tiers. I've got a giant uh, pile here. Where I collected all the coins before I did that. We've got a wall for our shields, so some of the best looking shields we're going to be getting. We'll put the best looking weapons, and we've got like an ornate chest of all of the different, uh, like, I don't know why there's Eros Granite in there. But all of the different sapphires and the, the jewels, the precious stones, etc. Uh, this one will probably put other weapons and stuff in there that we're not currently putting on the wall. But yeah, we have that in here. And then up on this floor, we have our bedroom. Now, this bed is absolutely disgraceful. But it is the only bed I can build. So the only one I can build, I have a bedroll and a bed. Maybe when we get to the ironwood level, that will unlock a lot of that stuff. I did put a hearth up here because it kind of, this area here kind of looked like it should have had a hearth in it. So I stuck a hearth in there. We do have a map stone directly to the bed if we need to sleep. And if I want to be lazy and travel out to the crafting area, I can do that. I'll probably delete that eventually because I did go around the map and delete most of the map markers. Uh... All the map markers that were I myself created. Now we do have to kill this troll. 
Uh, but we are going to go into this area. Maybe at the end of this video, we'll go into the area and clear out the map. Because in the next one, I want to kill... Uh, or we might do the orc camp and then we'll clear the rest of this area. Because I want to clear the orc camp out. Now we have our flaming two-handed sword, which is pretty naughty, actually. It does a lot of damage to a lot of the enemies. Uh, we do need to get our hammer and that out of uh, a chest to bring with us. I just had a lot of moving to do. Like, I moved all of the entire base and all of the resources and stuff back and forth from the map point to the map point. It did take me a hell of a long time. Like, a long time. So that was that was quite uh, interesting to do. Um, other than that, we just got the way that goes out into the next area. We're going to be building a bank over here, a vault, a dwarven vault. Uh, which will we'll incorporate the statue as well. And over that side, we're going to have a warehouse for all of our pallets. I just want to kind of have a sort of RP. Now, this area kind of pisses me off a little bit because it's got this broken ass stairs I can't fix. Um, we can try and figure out a way to cover it up a little bit, but all this stuff on the floor stays there. Like, you can't break these puddles up. I really wish you could. Like, it really it does aggravate me a bit that you can't do that because I would like the whole area to be clean um, without having to put floors everywhere. So this area is kind of sad. Maybe I'll turn it into an area where we, uh, like an old place where people can worship Durin and stuff like that. I think I might do something like that at some point. But yeah, that's what we're at so far and that's where we've got to. Now we'll get to the Nom Noms part and that is building our armor. We did get everything gone. We're going to build the Belagost set of gear. And when we do craft all of that, it should unlock all of the stuff. But I haven't got the helmet yet. Like, I'm not sure why he's got the helmet. We don't have enough to craft the Shinor hammer, which we need to fix the eastern stairs. I kind of messed up there, actually. So now we have our next tier of armor. We're in the T3 set. And we only have the gloves. Uh, we don't have a helmet yet. But we have our nice red helmet that goes with the hair. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. So it does kind of still look good. I look good. My two-handed and my furry shoulders. And all that. We can actually got to craft this Belagost. Because I need to make get more tin is what I need. I don't think I can make any more Shinor ingots, to be honest. Uh, I can. We can craft a couple up here. So I will craft three in there. And I'll set them up. The reason why I have multiple of these is to actually be able to craft multiple at a time when I don't go to sleep. Because what you usually do is you'll go to sleep. You'll, you'll set all your things to craft. Like add a, add a blaze room to it for. I should have added something else. Uh, so we got all of those crafting. Uh, when you want to just not, it's not time to sleep yet. It's night time now, so I could sleep. And when you go to sleep, everything gets fixed. Everything you're growing, all of that stuff is actually like, uh, what I don't understand about this though, about the farming. Maybe you can help me out here. We need to uproot the poison mushrooms. There's too much light there. Uh, when you're putting these down, uh, it actually only gives you one back. So it makes it kind of pointless to farm. I'm kind of confused. Maybe it's just because we need to uh, like put seeds in there. I do think I have some seeds. I think I do have some seeds in here somewhere. Uh, we will put these in there. We'll put these in there. Uh, we've got chitin. It's just materials. We're going to keep that just in case we need to use it to craft. Uh, we're going to... Oh, we need to keep that because that's in there. We'll put the honey in there. Now, I do have fennel seeds. So, maybe we will actually just plant some fennel in there and see if that unlocks anything. Because I do need to go sleep in a second. So, maybe that does something nice for us. I will plant a few there. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe there's only plants and plants because I'm sure if you get the blessing plant that makes the lambus bread, you can just farm that out. So we are going to go to sleep. I am going to cook up a couple of meals just so we can eat as soon as we wake up. I always do that and then I'll go to the bed and we'll go take a nappy naps until we're ready for the next morning where I'm just going to quickly uh, put the armor for the set that we have there. We're going to eat that one and we're going to eat that one. And we're going to finish off the armor that we put on here because we can open up the stand here and we can put the armor that we were using previously. And now we have the two sets of armor and it's going to go each tier. I'm going to have a new set. So when this one's done, we get to the new set. We'll put it on there and we'll have a whole area uh, for when we're crafting our shields, etc, etc. We are going to craft a halberd because I do love a halberd. I, I can't, I can't, like I can't tell you enough how much I actually love a halberd. Right, so we have fennel seeds. And we can make cram with fennel seeds. I have seen that previously, but we don't get... It doesn't seem like we get any uh, seeds back from it. So we just have to find seeds and then do that. Unless there's another way to do it. Let's repair this real quick. I'm not sure if there is another way. Maybe you let me down below. Maybe I'm doing the farming wrong. I haven't really like checked it out all too much. 
So we have got that. We're going to craft the Shenor Hammer so we can fix the Eastern Stairs. We'll have that lovely jubbly. And we'll craft our Belagost Halberd. And we'll see what that looks like. Uh, we can now make an Ufahan Furnace. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? And we can make a Kuzdul Forge. Okay, that's the next thing we need to build. We need to get ironwood. That'll be in the next area. But we will craft our furnace. That looks really nice. That looks like it's going to look really nice. Uh, we do have some extra furnishings. I'm not sure what that would be. We've got the red strength banner and the blue strength banner. I want purple. Give me all the purple stuff, man. All the purple stuff. Let's have a look, see what this halberd looks like. Lovely. What does the charge up do? Let's do the second tier one first. Big ol' okay. This is gonna this is the weapon for me. This is the weapon for me. I can do single attacks or it does AoE attacks, and the double up is a big old swing. So when I get surrounded like I always do, I'll be able to just Merkle people. Uh, we will go into this rune over here, and I will um I don't know if I'm gonna do a knockback. We'll do fire. Because I'm quite liking fire. No, we can't do fire, so we will. Uh Orc Bane, bonus damage against orcs. Let's just put that in there because we're gonna go do the orc camp very soon. So this is going to start glowing whenever we go there and we're going to murder everyone. We've got our nice new Shinor hammer. Lovely. We did get, we keep getting raids here, so I need to kill the orc camp, which I'll probably do in the next episode. Uh, and but pretty much that's it for what we've got built so far. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it looks pretty good to you. It's very, fairly simple, but it, th there's not much you can do when it comes to the building side of things, like to get outside of building square structures, because you can't go diagonals and all that sort of thing. Um, I will try and figure out if there is any sneaky ways we can get around doing some stuff. But it, it's dwarves. They build halls in squares and they build big pillars. And that's what we've tried to do in this build. Uh, I need to do something with this. I need to make that look a bit better. Maybe if you have any suggestions down below, you can let me know. But I want to thank you all for watching. Fly safe. Remember to like and sub if you haven't already for your survival kit and goodness. Take it easy. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror.